everybody. My name is Leslie Bell coming to you from Burlington, Vermont today. Uh, during this time of social distancing, we're all trying to find ways to come together with our communities. And it's with this in mind that we're trying to bring you some interesting information to help yourself and or your patients. Many of us know that breathing and ribcage movement assists with diaphragmatic activity and it's essential to helping our lymphatic system pump properly. In this time of social distancing, and staying home, exercising might be a little bit difficult or you may find some difficulty with motivation, but it's really important to get out there and walk and try to walk for at least a half an hour if that's possible. If you can't walk outside, consider walking around your house. It's really important to use your leg muscles um, and the calf muscles, one of your best pumps. And when we start exercising, we start a little bit of deep breathing and deep breathing is also really important for moving lymphatics. Um, deep breathing helps us move our ribs, it moves our sternum, our diaphragm, it stimulates all those lymph nodes in the abdomen to initiate that siphoning effect that we really need to help us move fluid out of our lower limbs. Today I'd like to demonstrate some quick and easy lymphatic drainage techniques that you can implement several times a day. You can do them standing, sitting, or lying down, and we call them the hoochie hoochies because the lymph nodes happen to live in ticklish areas such as your ab abdomen and your armpits. And when tickling a child, sometimes people say hoochie hoochie. So this silly name is easier to remember than abbreviated self-lymphatic drainage. Often when people are in the intensive phase of their treatment or having difficulty with lymphatic congestion, I'll suggest that they do these uh, little exercises 10 times a day or every hour. The nice thing is, is that it takes about 60 seconds to do this um, sequence of lymphatic node clearance and it's a little like flushing the toilet in your body, so it can be really helpful. Um, it's also really helpful to do this if you're using a pump. So consider clearing the lymphatic lymph nodes with, with deep breathing, um, with your lymph node clearance several times um, during the use of your pump, whether you're laying down or sitting. It'll improve the movement of your lymph fluid um, from your legs, um, through your organs, and then ultimately through your heart. So now I'd like to show you the sequence for self-lymphatic drainage. Uh, first and foremost, what we want to do is stimulate the lymph nodes at the base of our neck, which is right here. So you can pull down towards your neck, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, maybe do that 10 or 15 times. Other side, same thing, down towards your clavicle from the base of your neck. Other things you can do would be to start at the back of your neck, pull down, just swiping that skin, doing a little bit of skin stretch again down towards the clavicle, both sides, maybe 15 times. The next thing we'll do is come into our armpit right here, grab the beef as I call it, grab as much tissue as you can, do a pincer grasp like this, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. So we call that grab the beef. Over here, same thing, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Next one is what I call the Incredible Hulk exhale because I always think about the Incredible Hulk movie that was out there a long time ago and how Bill Bixby would turn into the Incredible Hulk by taking a big deep breath, exhaling 100%, and then voila. So that goes like this, big breath into your nose, and out. Do a little bit of movement there. That helps to turn on your abdominal muscles and move those lymph nodes. One more time, in, out. 100% exhale. Do that maybe four or five times because we don't want you to get dizzy. Last piece of this would be the groin nodes. So taking your middle finger, putting it right here at the front of your groin. I call these the John Waynes because if you put your other hand here and bend your knees a little bit, you look like you're ready for a shootout. But in this case, what we'll do is we'll pump up and down, up with your hands while you bend your legs, up and down and up and down and up and down, getting the lymph fluid to move a little bit out of your legs while you're pulling it up from your groin. Maybe come back, do another exhale like this, and the sequence is complete. So that whole sequence, if you did 10 or 15 repetitions of each of those stages from your neck to your axilla, to your abdomen, to your groin, back to your abdomen again, could take about 30 to 90 seconds. If you can remember to do that several times a day, it'll help to move that lymph fluid right out of your system. Again, using that 
uh, lymph clearance with your breathing and your groin uh, while you're on your pump can also be really beneficial and assist your pump in doing its best work.